Today, our verse is Revelation 22, verse 7. And behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. The end of the book of Revelation describes the beauty of God's heavenly city. There will be nothing accursed there. Everyone will worship God and the Lamb. All those in heaven will see God face to face. I can't imagine how it would be to see God. Something like, whoa, is this you to be so great? There will be no more day or night. No need to complain there is no light because Jesus will be the light and we will reign with him forever. But to be part of that beauty and everlasting life, John tells us that there is a task for us. The task is highlighted in our verse today. Jesus is coming soon. The coming of Jesus would refer to two things. Either our end, when we die and go to meet him, or the parousia, that is the second coming, which we don't know when it will be. Whichever case, the call is to observe what John says next. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. Anyone who keeps the words of the prophecy of the book will be among those who will enjoy the beatific vision. We see the face of God, have the opportunity to stay with him for eternity. There are so many things mentioned in the book of Revelation, but the summary is that we live a life worthy of Christ, irrespective of the persecutions that we encounter in the world, irrespective of the challenges and the difficulties, that we stay firm, we stay steadfast. That is what will guarantee us a place in the kingdom. This verse teaches us the following lessons. First, Jesus will indeed come. Or we can put it in another way. We must encounter Jesus either at the end of our life or when he comes again in glory. Second, there is a reward for anyone who remains faithful to the end. The person will be considered blessed and given a place in the kingdom of God. Third, we have to keep living the faith even now in anticipation of the coming by keeping to the word of God and living it out daily in our lives. Interestingly, we are reflecting on this verse just a day before the church begins the season of Advent, a time of Jesus' coming afresh into our lives and an and, and anticipation of the second coming. Let us prepare to welcome him anew into our hearts. Lord, give us the grace to always keep your word and live it out in our lives as we prepare to welcome you in your second coming. Amen. God bless you and have a lovely day.